I generally see adults in, um, in, uh, who have head and neck disease, which um, could be anything from I have problems with my mouth, I have chronic infections in my mouth or something of that nature to head and neck cancers. So I see a whole variety of uh, diseases of the head and neck. My approach has been to listen, to uh, let the patient tell their story. And when the patient tells their story, you get a lot of information not only from the medical parts of what they've been experiencing, but also you get an idea of how they feel about their disease. My passion is to educate patients about their particular disease. Uh, I spend a lot of time with my patients, whether that's a head and neck cancer patient or a patient who's having difficulty swallowing or difficulty with their voice, talking to them about what their disease means, not only from a purely medical standpoint, using those big words that some people don't like to listen to, but also trying to create analogies to other things that they may understand. If I come in the room and the patient that I've just operated on smiles and shakes my hand, it's the best part of the day. Uh, nothing else matters. Is that they've had a good experience, they've gone through a very traumatic time, surgery is very traumatic, it's traumatic for everybody. And if they can smile and, and shake my hand, it's a great day.